Hi boys and girls, today we'll be talking about Unit 2, Week 2, Day 2 of our grammar practice. So we've been talking about plural nouns and today I want to talk to you about different spelling patterns for turning certain nouns into plurals. So we add S to form the plural of most singular nouns, but there are some exceptions, boys and girls. Sometimes you have to add ES to make the plural form of singular nouns. And here's what you need to remember. You add ES to any noun that ends in S, SH, CH, or X. Okay? Then, here's another spelling change to form the plural of nouns that end in a consonant and a Y. We have to change the Y to I and add ES. You have been talking about this rule since you were in first grade, so this one should be nothing new to you. And then to form the plural of nouns ending in a vowel and a Y, you just add S. Okay, so if it has a consonant and an Y, you have to change the Y to I. If it's a vowel and a Y, you just add S. Okay, so let's do some practice. Here are some examples for you. If you take a look at the anchor chart down here, it says these are nouns that end in S, these end in ES, and these need IES. So we talked about how we needed an ES in nouns that end in S, SH, CH, X, here's a new one, Z, and SS. So if you need to make dress, Plural, you're going to add ES. Then it's in an X like box, you're going to add ES. Here's a CH one, you add e ES. And then buzz has a Z, so you add ES as well. Here's some more examples for nouns that end in a consonant and a Y. Remember, after you change it to an I, then add ES. So cherries is an example. Babies. B Y, you need to drop the Y and add I S. Library, you have to drop the Y. Dogs to doggies. And pony, it ends in a consonant and a Y, so you have to add I E S. On your practice today, you'll be working on grammar page 40. And boys and girls, in parentheses, they're going to give you a noun. Okay? And you need to write the correct plural form of each noun in parentheses. So we saw a blank running across the prairie. So fox, I know fox ends with an X. So that means I need to have that special rule where we add ES to the end. Okay? Then you have to take a look at countries and masses. Is that word masses of people traveled to the west in the 1800s that just means large groups of people some travelers keep diaries gather a few branches so we can build a fire six she caught a rabbit that was hiding in the bushes I asked the neighbors who I asked the neighbors two boys to help me milk the cow so you'll notice that when it's in parentheses, it is not going to be spelled correctly. Eight, some people used the old trail, but a few found new pathway. That one doesn't even have anything on the end, so we have to make it plural. That chest has many scratches, and by chest they mean like a trunk. Please feed the babies. We need more boxes than that. And I will write two more pages today. Your job is to use those rules to help you figure out which way to write the plural noun. If you need to go back and look at the anchor chart or the or this little guy right here, go for it. All right, that's all for today.